So is policing. Policing is organized crime. When you pull over a homeless man on a bicycle, make him violate, you violate his rights, make him flip over their bike, like they try to do to me, but you know, I film it. Yeah, I'm serious. Why are you speaking on biker gangs, man? You a snitch or something? Like talking to cops? Uh, I, thought, I thought this guy was on a call the way he parked on the sidewalk. Tampa police polices for profit guys. They pull over the homeless people more than anybody. They give them tickets that they can't afford. Hey, that's what I do. I'm a First Amendment artist, but we don't start shit. We protect your rights. We protect your constitution. I'm not talking to you. Oh, I'm talking to you. I don't have to. Now I'm not. I, I'm, I'm right here. All right, have a good day. I'm on public sidewalk. You got nothing better to do? You got a job? Why don't you go do your job? I don't answer questions. Why don't you go do your job? I am. Why don't you go do your job? Oh, I am. Oh, yeah, it is. Get the fuck out of here. How about that? I don't have to. I'm on public sidewalk. You take care. Have a nice day. I don't have to. I stay with the police. I make sure they don't violate rights. I stay with the police. I make sure they don't violate rights. You're a snowflake. I'm a snowflake? Oh, yeah. You're a fucking snowflake. You're over here. This is a public area. Everybody's just relaxing. I know. It's a public area. That's why I'm allowed to film police. Got a cigar smoking uh, snowflake over here telling me to leave. A public sidewalk. So this guy's a Nazi too. He wants people to leave public sidewalks. What a Nazi. Enjoy your trip. Alright. Yeah, we're going home. Hey, Ben, I'm going to go down there. I want to check your address for you. This guy called Bikers Organized Crime. Excuse me? I'm not in front of your face. Do I know you? I'm on a public sidewalk. See me? Yeah. It doesn't matter. I have permission. It's the First Amendment. I'm a journalist on a public sidewalk. I'm a journalist on a public sidewalk. You don't have to have a license. The First Amendment. First Amendment. Call the cops. You think it's a problem? Call cops. No, I'm not. I'm filming. No, I'm filming. You looking for attention? Nobody's home. Hey, I'm doing my job. Uh, I'm an activist. I'm the, hey, guys, watch what I say here. I'm the biggest activist in Tampa against police brutality. Million Mass March 2020. If you don't believe in it, you, do, you believe that there's police brutality or not. Because you're a cop. You're pigs. You guys are pork. Snowflake. And your wife, she's a snowflake, huh? Come on, baby. Hubba sidewalk. Oh. I'm on public sidewalk, I'm a journalist, what's up? You trying to violate my rights on a public sidewalk? Wow. You need help with something, sir? Yeah, I've been standing at the counter for like two minutes. We're not allowed to videotape in here. Sure we can. Oh, really? Yeah. There's no cameras, there's no videotaping in here, and it's not allowed. According to who? According to our bosses, uh, the Postal Service. You could videotape outside, sir. Oh, I could yeah, videotape sir. in here, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right, let's call the boss. Okay. Did, well, act, are you just going to walk away? Is there a reason for it? I mean, are you, are you looking for something? Can I help you with Well, anything? that's why I'm standing at the counter. I mean, right. that's why I'm at oh, a counter. He doesn't have his bill. Okay. Okay. Well, he looked at me like three or four times. Did he? Really? Yeah. Oh, maybe he doesn't want to come out. All right. So, so we right just back, don't. Sir. Let me go get him. So well, no, I got a question for you. Okay. Go so. What you got? What you just stated is completely uh, wrong. <clears throat> so, if you read this, this is really old, 1998. This is your poster seven. Right up there, about photographs. You could take a photograph in there of your mail, but you're not supposed to. That's take That's not it. what that says. Could you read it? Are you from a news outlet? Correct. 
Are you okay? Do you have a, any idea on you? No, I don't have to have any idea on me. I need to know who's in my office. No, you don't. On the public. First Amendment still applies in here. Okay. Other photographs may be taken with permission yeah. of the local postman. So, can I get an apology from both of you? Okay. I didn't say anything to you first well, of all. So. All right. Well, you came out with them. All right. You could videotape. So you just cannot videotape any transactions going. So we'll get an apology. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I see Appreciate it. Right, right, but you have to know. So this is old. Okay. That's been updated many times. All right. Right here is your rules and regulations for post office. All right. So coming out barking orders and you don't even know what you're talking about, you look foolish. Okay. Right. So it's written right there. That's your rules and regulations. All right. Appreciate it. You guys' place is pretty clean. Um, Appreciate it. You know, I've been to a bunch of different post offices which mm -hmm. aren't as clean. They're cluttered and everything else, although the shower curtain thing it's is kind of stupid, yes. but you don't have it over, over bolting them, mm -hmm. but I don't think it does anything anyhow. But um, that's your policy procedures. All right. Just all right? no transactions, please, okay? Make well, I could stand in that lobby all day long. Okay, but uh, you, can't, you can't tape anybody doing transactions or, any, or mail. You can't videotape mail. That's... Not true. It's not my obligation to protect that stuff. It's you guys. Not that I'm doing that. But what you're saying is false. If I were to come in here with what they call a black box, I can get everybody's ATM information as soon as they walk in the door without a videotape. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of pointless. Why would I stand there and videotape people's uh, banking information? How can I do that? I don't know. Why would right. we be standing here videotaping anything? Well, it's news. You've never had the news come in here? Sure, sure. Okay, so it's right. what you just said is false. Okay. All right, guys, I appreciate the apology. Right. Have a good day. Sorry about that, right. sir. You have a good day. All right, you too. Good, how are you? Good. You, uh, Chief Jason? I am. Okay, do you have a moment? Sure. Okay, yep. can we, uh, we'll speak right here? Yeah. I'll get out of your road. Over here? Right there, fine. Right here? Yeah. Okay, um, are you aware of what happened the other day at the post office? Uh, I heard bits and pieces of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, do you want to tell me what he told you? Uh, well, the thing is, if you're going to file a complaint, we'll do an investigation and mm -hmm. we'll go from there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to do he said, she said. I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll give me your side. Mm -hmm. You'll give me his side. I'm getting statements from the people involved down there mm -hmm. and we'll go from there. Okay. So have you guys looked into the policy of filming in a post office since then? Since I was uh, threatened with arrest? I actually for... got a piece of paper from the... That you are allowed to video down there. Now, the only thing I yeah, was absolutely. told that you are not allowed to video the tran the uh, transactions that are going on down there. Correct. So you're not allowed to, you know, purposely try to take information at the counter, um, now, which the I call, obviously... The call that came in to us mm -hmm. is people were leaving the post office because they felt uncomfortable with you down there. Mm -hmm. Video them, video, video recording them while they're doing their transactions. That's the call we got. Mm -hmm. So I was in the lobby, and I was the whole way at the back, just taking general <laughs> pictures. Right. Um, typically, my post office visits, I could show you dozens, dozens of good office visits, you know, where supervisors offer to tour me around the building, super cordial, have no problem with any public photography, right? right. So, you know, as far as them being uncomfortable with the situation, that was caused by the postal employees within... 30 seconds of me being in there screaming. Well, from what, from what I'm hearing, people were actually walking out of the business because you were there recording. Mm -hmm. That's what was told to me. Okay. Now I'm going to be getting statement forms from those individuals mm -hmm. that were down there. Right. Uh, I already dropped them off, so I'm going to get those. If I'm not doing anything wrong, though, and... Like I said, you're, you're allowed to be there, mm -hmm. but if you're videoing when people are scanning their credit cards and their personal information... That's all private stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So Yeah, that's not my intent to gather that right. kind of information. I'm just getting general pictures right. of the lobby, right. filming interactions with the uh, public employees. 
Right. And uh, that's not my intent. So, you know, that's right. that's comp- Now, when you were recording, did you catch any of that stuff? No, absolutely not. Like I said, that's not my intent. I have dozens okay. of videos you could see, okay. you could watch. Well, from from what I understand, and like I said, I didn't get everything back yet, mm-hmm. but there was there was people actually leaving mm-hmm. because they felt as though their privacy was being invaded. Right. And you know. so like I told Officer Pollock, you're a law enforcement officer, not a Felix police. And right. I wasn't breaking any laws. But yet I was threatened with arrest and had to leave under threat of arrest, arrest of arrest. And basically my constitutional rights, my First Amendment right to film in public was trampled on. And I was forced to leave under threat of violence. Right. That's well, terrible. Uh, you're, you're here to file complaints. It is absolutely I'll you, terrible. I'll give you this. Well, and to just, you know, make sure you guys understand that when I do, because I talked to the postal inspector. I've filed complaints through the post office about this. Right. Um, I talked to the postal inspector of Pittsburgh, absolutely allowed to do what I was doing. Um, he said in larger post offices, especially during tax season, they get flooded with news cameras and stuff in the lobbies, in the corridors, in the hallways, trying to interview people for you know, whatever reason, see if they're getting their tax returns or whatever they do. But he said, yeah, any public photography, public photography is legal. Um, You're just not allowed to interrupt any kind of business, uh, cause a disruption, cause a disturbance. Now, the video that you shot down there, Mm -hmm. if I would ask you, would you show me to make sure that you weren't videoing any private personal information of people that were, were down there doing transactions like with credit cards or personal information. Absolutely. And like I said, that's not my intent. I have no ill will. My intention right. is to exercise my First Amendment right. Right. Plain and simple. From what I understand, you are allowed to video down there. Right. Yeah, like I said, I confirmed it. I knew already. The rules are right on the wall. Officer right. Pollock wouldn't even look at the rules. The rules are right on the wall. Right. Um, every post office has to post them right on the wall. Um, no interest in looking at the rules. Just enforcing feelings and no different than an officer coming up to me in a public park and telling me I have to leave under threat of arrest for taking pictures of birds. Good, how are you? I'm good. What are you up to? Just filming. What, what, is, what specifically are you filming besides your house? Just for journalism. Journalism? Yes. Are you, what is a, are you a reporter or something? Uh, can't really enclose that. Okay. Well, we have, we have people who have privately owned vehicles here. I'm sure they don't want to record. Oh, yeah, I'm not. I haven't been recording any of the vehicles except for the ones that just came out of there. But I haven't been in any secure areas. Haven't been in, and whatever I can see, I can record. It's not like I'm targeting any vehicles or anything. There's certain portions of our facility here that are, are off limits to the public. That's why, that's why I'm contacting you now. Hey, can I just see your ID real quick? Uh, I don't ha- have to provide that. What's that? I don't have to provide that. Okay. You do have to provide me your name and date of birth. Uh, for what yeah. reason? Yeah, I'm asking you because... By law, do you have reason to articulate suspicion that I'm about to commit a crime or have committed a crime? It's possible, yes. What, what crime would that be? I don't know if you're, trying to, if you're, if you're here stalking one of our officers. I just want to identify who you are and I'll be on my way. 
I don't, I didn't break any law, so I don't have to do that. Can you get a sergeant? What's your name and badge number? Smith and Kyle Coburn, badge number 1554. Okay, what about yours? From Baker 181. <laughs> yeah, you need PC or... Any reasonable suspicion. And what's the reasonable suspicion? I'll explain to you. Suspicion of crime? It's, it's a constitutionally protected activity. What's... This is public property paid by the taxpayers. What? And I've been talking to you. I don't have to give up my name. This building is paid by the taxpayers, is it not? It's public. I can't, con I can't practice a constitutionally protected yeah, activity. The only car, the only vehicle I recorded was yours when you just exited. I was just recording inside there because I can. Whatever I can see from public, I can record. You said you're a journalist? Yes. What are you uh, just local police departments, sheriff's departments, places where officers or cruisers would mostly be. I've, I've been all around, not, not just here. What do you normally submit your stories to? Um, usually it's either Instagram or sometimes YouTube. It's mostly just Instagram to it's it's not not even just police buildings or sheriff departments, but buildings that the taxpayers pay for. What like what is your goal? Like what are you trying to inform people of? Um, that it's okay for me to practice my rights at places that taxpayers pay for without being targeted as suspicious. And we're not targeting, man. We just obviously, I mean, if someone's lurking around your house or your business, you want to go talk to them. That's all we're going to talk to. Them. We've had we've had instances where people who we've had contact with on separate calls target our officers and wait for them to leave. I get that, but I'm not from here, so I don't I don't know any of the officers. Yeah, we don't know you. That's why that's why we're contacting. And we just want to make sure. I have no problem if you want to walk around and film the building, but when you start focusing on the cars, I get a little concerned about that. When did you see me focusing on the cars? I have it on video. I focused up there to to the height of the vehicles, but that's about it. You're, you're shining the camera in on some of our own personal own vehicles in here. I saw that firsthand. Okay. That's yes, concerning. that is. I do have that on video too. That's what I'm talking about. That's a little concerning. Do you Why is it? Oh yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I make sure card numbers, anything important, for, I make sure that none of that is shown when I post it. Um, yeah, and I was just looking in there because there's a whole bunch of cruises in there, so I was kind of interested. And, and you're always welcome to come talk to us, man. We'll come and talk to you if you have questions. I mean, even if you're not a fan of police, we're happy to talk to you. No, it's not. It's not that I'm not a fan of police. I'm Honestly, fan of. I'm fan of good police. Obviously, everyone has different views, and you're always welcome to come and talk to us. We're always open to talk to you guys, especially if you do have conflicting views from what we do. Then we're happy to talk. And we always want like to if we were to have if we were to have good encounters, then that's when I shine light and on I good you, good officers. I hope this is a good encounter. Like I said, we just we don't know what's going on, of course. Well, he said he said by law I have to give up my name and ID, which that is false. This isn't Nazi Germany. I mean, Fourth uh, Amendment right. I don't have to give up my papers nor unlawful searches and seizures. If we suspect if we suspect someone of a crime, you can't make a constitutionally protected activity a crime. You can't make a you can't make the First Amendment a crime. You can't do that. What does this have to do with the First Amendment? But they're here, so I'm gonna keep on riding. Here they come. How you doing, sir? Okay. Hey, Leeds was calling. Uh-huh. <laughs> They're a little nervous with you. Yeah. Being over there and uh, taking pictures and videos of them. Yeah, I was just taking, I mean, I'm not taking pictures of anything specific. Okay. What's were you, were you on the property? No, absolutely not. No, you're just on the road? Yeah, I do this for a living, man. Okay. Freelance journalist. Okay. What's your name and badge number? Sergeant Spear. Sergeant Spear. Yep. Okay, I don't, I don't see the spear. Your, okay. your phone's yeah. covering it. Yeah. Do you have any ID on you? Ah, uh, no, I don't carry ID. Okay, what's your name, sir? I mean, I don't think I committed a crime, so I don't have to give you my name.
Well, I'm just asking for it, sir. I know. I mean, I'll tell you my first name. I got no problem with okay. that. My name's Joe. I got to make a report of it. You know what yeah. I mean? So, my name's Joe. Joe. Yeah. But I know how the reports go, man. I've been doing this for a long time. Uh, my name goes into a database, which goes to like a like a, a, a center. And then I'm put on like a no-fly list and a threat danger list. I, I don't want any of that, my man. Well, that so, matter. you know, I, I'll be cordial with you and tell you my, my first name. But that's okay. that's all I'm going to give because I haven't committed okay. no crimes. So you weren't, you weren't on the property? Oh, absolutely not. If I, I have video leads, proof. If I talk to leads there and they say you were on the property, yeah. it, they, they would be incorrect? or Yes. And then at that point, we'll, uh, you know, review my footage and then go back and file charges on them for filing a false police report and wasting taxpayers' resources. Well, I mean, you can do many things there, but. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I do this a lot, man. And, you know, mainly I come out, take pictures of some wildlife. Were you, were I like you, to. Um, were you taping or videotaping or uh, taking pictures of them because they were open or anything? We've been getting a lot of complaints from people because they were open and some people say they shouldn't. Be. Oh, no. Actually, that had uh, nothing to do with it. Uh, okay. The only reason I even swung by and took pictures of them, to be honest, was they have some really bad reviews and stuff on, like, Indeed and Google, uh, the way they uh, treat their employees and stuff. So. Uh, okay. You know, just doing, you know, little, uh, shoot, man, I was only there five minutes. Oh, okay. I was only there five minutes. They're, they're on they're on edge lately. This right. Week. And then I'm down here and the security guard pulls up to me and tells me, you know, that I'm not allowed to do what I'm doing. Right. On uh, the roadway? Yeah, on the roadway. Okay. Yeah, I never leave the, the, the easements, you know. I know what I'm doing. I don't go on private property. And to be honest, I've taken pictures of about every business up here today. And they seem to be the only ones that have the problem with it. Right. So, you know, it might be a good Did idea. You catch the... Uh... Um, security guard's name? I didn't. No. I didn't. Uh, I, it was two security guards that made contact with kind me. Of vehicle were they in? They're in a white, uh, I want to say like a Ford Escape. They got a little uh, white thing on the top. Gotcha. Like a little white, like fake light on the top. Are you guys uh, Upper Barrel? Yep. You guys get pretty good reviews. <laughs> it's good to hear. I <laughs> uh, look at them, man. Yeah. You know, people look at them. Today's day and age, you know. You've been up here all, all day, you said? Yeah. I filmed uh, the Alcoa plant for probably a good hour. Oh, yeah. Nice people. Yeah. Yeah. A couple guys said hello. You were, you were, you up, were you up in there? Oh, no, no, no. I was going to say, because they're real touchy. Oh, no, 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 no. Like I said, I know what yeah. I'm doing, man. I don't go on anybody's property. But, all right, man. All right, well, I'm just going to put in my report. I talk to you and everything like that, and I'll talk to them and uh, just let them know, you know, if you, know, you have right, man. anybody come on their property. Then hey, yeah, yeah, if you could let them know, yeah. like, educate them on the First Amendment right, of the Constitution. Well, they, they, they got it. Yeah. All yeah, right, man, they, thanks. They get nervous. That's why they have security guards Yeah, there, no doubt, so, man. No they, doubt. They, I understand they the contact. On, on edge with them working and boys yeah. complaining. Just, oh, absolutely. Yeah. I understand the consensual contact for sure. Yeah. You know, I get it. Okay. Um, but, yeah. Okay. All right, man. All right, good to go. All have, right. Have dude, thanks for being professional. Yep. See you guys later. What's your name and badge number, sir? What's that? Oh, I was asking the other officer. Sergeant Spear. Sergeant Spear. Yeah. All right, Sergeant Spear, have a nice day. Okay.